We're on the precipice, about to plunge into an entirely new world where the genome is no longer a mystery. All we have to do is jump. I think the most exciting thing about genomics is that the more we know about the structure and the function of the genome, the more far-reaching the impact becomes in society. Every living thing is a genome. I believe it's an exciting time to be a young geneticist. The previous generation of scientists have left us with the challenge to create better algorithms for bioinformatics and to better interpret the data from previous genome projects. Genomics has allowed us to learn about everything from evolution to crop improvement to genetic causes of disease and has the potential to lead us into an era of technology such as personalized medicine, one-hour DNA sequencing at the mall, and an overall greater understanding of how life works. The study of genomics allows for a broad scope of scientific fields to collaborate in an effort of universal importance. In genomics, we have discovered the alphabet of life, and we are not trying to interpret the language and understand its effects on the world today. Its outreach is broader than we can understand, and with each passing day, we're able to come closer to, philosophically speaking, the meaning of life. You know, we need to talk about how this is going to transform communities. How do these technologies transform the way in which farmers use those genetic resources? You know, we learn about genomics, and you guys learn about social science in the process of developing this conversation. This genetics fits into just about everything. It has very broad implications and impacts in other disciplines. By facilitating interactions between very diverse groups, it would be a very good opportunity to bring people that wouldn't normally speak to each other together to discuss these ideas. And the thing about the center is you know, having a place where this interaction goes on is really critical. Having meetings about people's research in genomics and then having the social scientists attend that and ask some questions. Power is in a collective, you know, in an institute rather than just an individual. And so by, by having it here, we can create that. So that's what's really exciting about this concept. We've proposed a new kind of center as part of this process. But what's great about this is that the foundation for the center has already begun to emerge. We'll begin by organizing the center in foci based on the societal influence of genomics. Genomics technology has a direct impact on our food resources, and our food nutritional content, food security, food production rates are all affected by genomics. An important area of current genomics research involves production of fuel, harnessing genomics technology to improve bioenergy production. Genomics technology has tremendous impact on the environment around us. Genomics technology has legal, ethical, economic, and other social consequences and impacts. Genomics is a key component to health for humans, companion animals, livestock, wildlife. On a second level, the center will be organized according to research foci. Genomics radiates like spokes into many other disciplines of research. As you can see from many of the proposed landmark research areas, genomics research, ideas, and concepts cross-pollinate research in these areas. All of these areas offer improvements in human and animal health, well-being, and prosperity. Instead of shipping work out and having somebody else do it, it's extremely important for our kids to be able to say, I can do it, I did it. Certainly that connects with the desire to grow the graduate program on campus, and facilities like this are going to have a huge impact on our ability to recruit the best students. It's the same principle they use in athletics.
the Broad Institute in Boston is really held as a model for how to do this. The core of the institute is really founded on genomic technology, sequencing and understanding what to do with that sequence information. What that allows the Broad Institute to do is build platforms around genome sequencing that allows the science to flourish in many different areas. Large quantities of data are collected, and that data has to be managed. And regardless of research field, computational and bioinformatics support is critical. So one thing that we've already established is emphasis on strong computational resources and bioinformatic tools, hardware, and support personnel are critical for future success in genomics research. I, I don't think people really are aware of the strengths that, that we have across the broad field of genomics. It's a very unique situation here at Texas a and With the impact genomics is having on all aspects of life, it's hard for me to imagine a major research university in the world not going forth with a very strong program in genomics. People who are not on the genomics wagon are going to be left behind.